G'day, how you doing folks? Um, not the norm here. Down in Alexandra. And <laughs> wouldn't believe it, would you? So I was in the bookshop yesterday and um, here in Alexandra and I picked up this particular book here. I'll just let you read the back of it if my camera will focus. So that's the back of it there. It's The Diary of a Freed Mason. And I thought, oh, you know, there's, there's probably... It's bound to be a really lodge here somewhere in Alexandra. So that's the book there. And um, what do you know? <laughs> so here we have it. This is Lodge Manuherikia, number 109. Kill winning. That's a pretty sort of a... Revealing kind of a name, isn't it? Kill winning. So the lodge is Manuherikia. Kill winning, number 109. Meeting nights, third Wednesday, each month, 7.30. Contact caretaker, Henry Drake. See the phone numbers there. And Les Brentzel. wonder what roles those two individuals hold within the community here in Alexandra. There's your foundation stone. That one was laid by R.W. Brother Thomas Ross PDGM, 6th December 1919. Pretty old building, over 100 years old. There's a fleur of leaves there. Top of the pillars. They're not your, um, not your Greco-Roman style pillars, but uh, there you have it. I'm sure it's just down the side of the building there. Anyway, these guys have been in your community for a long time, people. Running the roost, holding all the positions of power. These guys aren't on the square, folks. Are they on the square? Mm, different degrees, isn't there, with a the compass? Different degrees and measures. So there we are. Lodge Manuherikia. Kill winning. Down here in Alexandra. And uh, check out the bookshop down here too. It's just down the main road there. Uh, got some good old books in there. So uh, yeah, chime in next time, guys. Go and, um, and do the same in your own towns. Go and have a look at these lodges. Go and go and uh, go and see if you can get inside them. That, that's not an invitation to join them. <laughs> well, there you have it. I'll sign out now. Cheers for that.